Hey there hobby friends, thanks for checking out Caffeinated Miniatures. I am pretty excited for today's build because today, well today we're building the big sun laser carrying dinosaur that is the Bastilodon. always kind of liked reptiles and lizards and while it's had its low points Jurassic Park slash world is easily one of my favorite movie franchises so the Seraphon seemed like a super easy army choice for this game I mean dinosaur riding lizards yes please besides this Bastilodon seems like a super dope model so enough of this nonsense let's open it up Now I've got to admit that I was more than a little intimidated to put this thing together. I mean, I went straight from teeny tiny grots to this big ass dinosaur. I gotta say though that it went together super well and the mold lines were not too haggard. Once I got the dino together, I took a minute to figure out if and how I should paint it in sub-assemblies. After studying the instructions, I ended up leaving the front two skinks on the Basti and leaving the solar engine and the back skink separate. Which I would do differently next time, but that's how I did it this time. Then I primed it up in rattle can black and waited for it to dry. Having looked at a few reference images of turtles and tortoises, I decided to go with the green skin on the dino. So I started there. First paint was Vallejo Game Color Dark Green that I liberally applied as a base coat. I basically immediately regretted my decision on a black primer. But did I stop and reprime it? No, I troop it on like a stubborn fool. As a means of quickly highlighting some volumes, I dry brushed a 50-50 mix of dark green and Citadel Screaming Skull. Then a very light dry brush of Screaming Skull, followed by a wash of dark green ink. After the ink was nice and dry, I went back in with the brush to refine the volumes with a mix of dark green and screaming skull, adding more and more screaming skull. I kind of took a similar approach with the scales, shell, whatever. The top part. Base coating with Citadel Bane Blade Brown, once again cursing my poor choice of primer. then giving it a quick dry brush with Screaming Skull. I decided to give it a wash of 50-50 Strong Tone from Army Painter in black ink. And after the wash was applied, I, well, I really did not like how it looked. I probably should have watered down the wash a bit more to prevent that ink from really staining it as dark as it did. Regardless, I went back with a heavy dry brush of Bane Blade Brown. Followed by a much lighter one with Screaming Skull mixed in. And I think I was able to mostly save it. Well, I feel, to be honest, I feel pretty dumb because it was at this point 
that it really occurred to me that I was going to be painting skinks in this kit as well. I guess I was so focused on the big ass dino that I never really turned my mind to the fact that I would also be painting three skinks. However, I did like the turquoisey skinks on the box art and I had Vallejo turquoise so I set out to paint them similarly. When I started the gold bits, of which there is a lot, I started with a base coat of Citadel Mornfang Brown to give that Vallejo gold a much warmer tone and allow it to cover significantly better. Then after a strong tone wash, I gave the edges a highlight of silver. And we ended up with this. Overall, I think I'm pretty happy with that result. I mean, there's loads of takeaways, but hey, I'm learning. And I'm sure you noticed the glaring omission of the base. And there's good reason for that. I mean, not the least of which is that it's not actually done. But after the admittedly half-assed bases on those grots, I kind of want to up my base game. So expect a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching this today. If you made it this far, that is the universe telling you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing, but it helps the channel out immensely. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.